Before this video starts, I just want to talk about how important it is to get into nature every now and then. Your head can be spinning and it can feel like you're being pulled in a thousand different directions, but once you just step outside and... <laughs> how gorgeous is that? Once you come out here, you kind of just... Everything just calms down. But, um... Let's talk about the video now. I live in Florida. Hot, humid, landlocked central Florida. Not lush Tallahassee where you're a 30 minute drive from Georgia. And what you probably know about Florida is that it is very hot. Now as someone that's lived here my whole life, I'm kind of used to it. Now anything under 65 degrees is considered cold for me. I had this semi joke going where I decided to cut up almost every single one of my t-shirts, like this one, into tank tops. And when someone would ask me, yo Reese, um, Why'd you do that? I just say, I don't think there's ever an excuse to wear an actual t-shirt in Florida. A tank top just seems infinitely better in every situation in Florida. The low today was 70 degrees at 5 a.m. And I'm not up at 5 a.m. So I'm used to 80 to 90, God forbid, 95 degrees in Florida. And what a tank top does is it just keeps you cool. And unintentional sweating, so sweating when you're not exercising, sucks. And it Loki just ruins your mood and now you're just angry because you're sweating. Obviously, I left the nice polo shirts, but I'm talking about regular t-shirts. You might go, all right, well, what about when it gets cold? And it's like, well, then I just wear a hoodie. But also, when it gets cold here, the humidity goes away. So have you ever been in the hot sun when it's a cold day out? How good does that feel? I probably won't even wear a hoodie when it does get cold because I'll just go in the sun. And speaking of the sun, do you really know how important and good for you the sun is? You know, the sun isn't just something for your backdrops and your videos or for your Instagram stories when you're posting the sunset, but it actually is giving you all, most, if not all, of your supply of vitamin D and being in it and feeling it is going to increase your serotonin, increase your testosterone if you're a man, your estrogen if you're a woman. It's going to improve your circadian rhythm and there's countless benefits and over half the country is deficient in it and if you're not taking actual action to get more sunlight, you're probably deficient in it too. Now when it's cloudy out, you're still getting some vitamin D and all those benefits, but it's not as much as if the sun is directly hitting your skin and you get zero benefits when the sun is coming through a window. So like if you're driving, zero benefits. You, you cannot produce vitamin D because the glass blocks the UV rays. And most people wake up, go to school or work, and you're going from your house to your car, you probably throw on sunglasses, and you're getting no sunlight in your eyes, which is linked to more depression. Now with winter, with the sun setting at 5.30, most people aren't getting sun at all. You get off work at five, the sun's already setting. And what's the culture of young people today now? I mean, it's a meme, but we all go out in hoodies and sweatpants, right? So we're completely covered. The only thing getting sun would be our face and our hands, which is not as much as if you have your whole arm out. And I'm in shorts, so I'm getting even more sunlight just by wearing shorts. And also, I'm cooler. I'm not as hot. I'm not sweating. It might be more comfortable when you're in the, your school and it's like 60 degrees because those teachers love having it freezing, freezing cold all the time. But is it really more comfortable when you're walking home or even walking to your car or even driving your car before you blast the AC from this car that got baked by the sun all day? The more skin you expose to the sun, the more vitamin D your body can absorb. And it's not really just to, you know, show off my physique or anything. It's literally just because it's more comfortable and I can get more sunlight. And I care about dumb stuff like that. And you, you should too. I was literally making music with my friend earlier, and he was like, hey, bro, I think I need some sun. I can't focus right now. And I'm like, this kid, go get, go, go stand in the balcony, go get some sun. But it's like, it really is a mood enhancer. It's hard to feel down and feel sad when you're in a grass field and there's just sunlight. It's not so hot. It's really hard to feel bad when the weather is bad. But how often are we even experiencing the weather? Definitely not enough. But that is half the reason I dress in the stupid way I do. The other half is simply that I don't think my clothes represent who I am or even show a quarter of who I am. Now I know for some people fashion is a way of self-expression and it's a way of being creative and coping with things. Personally, I don't fall in that boat, but also even for those people, I don't see you and I don't see your clothes and be like, huh, I'm judging him or I know him. It's like, there's so much more to us than not only our physical appearance, but also the stuff we put on our bodies, like these bracelets. I think that we are kind of 
brainwashed into thinking that clothes are more important than they actually are when it comes to self-expression. I think that it's a way of kind of putting us into another box. You're told that you kind of need to fit a certain aesthetic or be like a certain aesthetic. And now when you dress that way, you kind of have to act that way too. And I don't think you should put yourself in a box like that. Now what is beautiful about clothing is that clothing is a survival necessity. It kept us warm and alive and it still does keep us warm and alive. But now it's more of a fashion thing and it's more of a way of self-expression, which is beautiful. But again, I think we place too much emphasis on the material world. It's not specifically about clothes, it's material stuff that I'm talking about. Us cute humans took a survival necessity and turned it into a good chunk of culture. But things changed with money as they always do. And it's important to never forget that clothing is an industry. Makeup and beauty is an industry. And if the people in these industries can make you believe that all you are is your clothing and you should derive all of your identity from your clothing and this stupid bracelet, I don't know why I keep referring to this bracelet, then you're a customer for life. Some of the greatest people and inventors ever didn't give a shit about their clothes. I mean, would you take this guy seriously or this guy seriously? Of course not. Could you see the clothes they're wearing? Kind of silly, isn't it? Now, another good benefit of fashion and the clothing that people are very attached to is community. And we lack community nowadays, so any form of it, I think, is a good thing. We know that materialism is bad. We know that shopping can be an addiction. And we know that a new pair of shoes might only make you feel good for a week before that feeling fades. Now, I'm not saying go out with clothes that have food stains on them or there's like a rip in your shirt. I'm just saying don't attach your identity from, honestly, anything other than what you're passionate about, your level of self-respect, and I think you get that through doing the things you wanna do and not doing the things you decided you don't want to do. And when you have a level of self-respect for yourself in that aspect, it becomes very easy to not be attached and only feel comfortable when you have a fresh haircut or you're wearing some, some drip, some fire fit, you know? You kind of feel comfortable in your own skin regardless of actually what's on your skin. That was a bar. And I think it's important to also be connected to the clothes you wear. I mean, it was produced in China, Honduras, Indonesia, all these really far, far away countries, at least from me. And not only that, it was either brought by boat or by airplane. And then it was driven from a factory to another factory. And people also, you know, picked the cotton that it was made with. If it's wool clothing, then a sheep gave you that wool. And it, we can't just be detached and be like, this is just clothing because clothing is so much more than that. And we should really be grateful. Like I am, I'm grateful for Shirt sure, was made in Honduras, and I'm grateful for whoever picked the cotton to get it, and the trucker that brought it to the store that I got it at, and you just gotta be grateful and not detach and disconnect from the whole process of the clothing. Doesn't it make sense that the $528 billion fashion industry wants you to feel attached to your clothing? Does it make sense that the $1.7 trillion beauty industry wants you to feel insecure about yourself. And what's really disheartening is seeing, you know, little girls that aren't even in middle school yet asking Santa Claus for a Sephora like eyeliner or something. It's just, it's just kind of sad. And the opposite is also true. People that do like to dress in a more alternative way can get shunned and shamed by the kids that don't. And that's messed up too. Us humans and us teenagers and us young people and honestly forever are gonna judge clothing. I mean, whose grandma doesn't tell them, why do you got ripped jeans, son? Let me give you some money, go get some real jeans. And it's like, okay, I love you, grandma, but it's like, I don't care if my jeans are ripped. Different generation, I love you, grandma, chill. <sighs> and I encourage you to be unique in every single aspect of your life and whatever clothes you wanna wear, wear them. Literally do whatever you want because I think that individuality and being unique is, is freaking awesome. I mean, Everyone back in the day used to wear a suit and tie when they went out, and that's kind of boring. Now we got some idiot dressed in pink shorts and a freaking sun tank top wearing, <laughs> wearing Crocs and black socks and just also being like, this doesn't represent who I am. I know who I am and it's not this clothing. But you also gotta keep in mind that there are motivators in your brain that have been given to you from years of propaganda and seeing beautiful models on TV that are gonna make you think that you'll feel better when you get this Sephora eyeliner or when you have this nice pair of pants. But at the end of the day, it's just gonna be a pair of pants that you hang up in your closet and you're probably gonna throw away or give away one day. So why do we place so much emphasis on it now? Clothing in the clothing community, especially at my school, y'all are awesome. Sometimes I wish I could dress like you guys because it's cool. I'm just personally not interested in that hobby. And I just, honestly, I said create your own style, be individualistic. 
look at me. This is my style now, wearing <laughs> cut up t-shirts and shorts because I want to remain cool. But now that can almost be my own style. It's like, I'm not trying to be unique by doing this. It just happens to be me and that's exactly what you need to do. There's a fine line between doing something and wearing certain clothing or being a certain aesthetic to try to feel different and appear different versus doing it simply because you don't give a shit. And I think that's, that's where we need to be. If you wear something because you don't care how you look, but it still like is what you want to wear, that's a beautiful thing. If you're wearing it because you want to appear a part of a group, that's okay too. Just you got to question, is this me that wants to do this or are there outside pressures making me feel like I have to do this to fit in? Mac Miller, one of my favorite artists ever, and he made a beautiful quote in this song 2009. He goes, isn't it funny we can make a lot of money, buy a lot of things just to feel a lot of ugly? And it's like, Damn, man, that's very, very true. We buy so much things because we think it's going to make us happy and feel prettier than we are already. And we always just end up feeling ugly anyway. So just do away with it. Do away with it. Get rid of it. It's not something that you need to hold on to anymore or attach yourself to anymore. The real change starts on the inside. And as you change internally, your clothing probably will change too. It's almost like I've in my mind stopped caring what other people think and that's translated to the clothing now I just wear what's comfortable and it matches I'm not wearing beat up clothes and some might argue it even looks good but it's gonna reflect clothing is a reflection of who you are it's not who you are some people show personality through clothing and fashion I personally show it through music and every one of us shows our personality in different ways and if fashion and clothing is what it does it for you so be it. You just gotta take a step back at a times and be like, is this me? Even with music or whatever you used to show your personality with. I mean, I don't want to be too reliant on my music to be like my whole personality. When I go out and talk to people, I'm not always just talking about music, even though that's what I spend like 90% of the day thinking about. I don't want to just be like music, music, music. And I shouldn't just be clothing, 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 or passion, 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 whatever it is. Give it space to breathe. If you resonate with what I said today, I encourage you to reflect on your own relationship with materialism and clothing and purchases and what you're gonna use to reflect who you are. And if you like the message, I also will ask you to subscribe and check out my music if you wanna see how I express myself more. Links for all that will be in the description. And like I said earlier, please just go out into nature. Like, look at the freaking moon, bro so gorgeous and I'm um, have a beautiful rest of your day yeah isn't it funny we can make a lot of money buy a lot of things just to feel a lot of ugly I was getting